A lot of people talking about the conditions at the 2021 French Open. The same was the case for the 2020 edition of the tournament. Uh, but I think a lot of things have been forgotten since then, because you'll remember coming into last year's event, Roland Garros had made a change from the Dunlop balls to Wilson balls. And there was a concern that because the tournament was switching to Wilson, that it would be really, really, really slow. Because the Wilson ball is played with in the United States for the U.S. Open and some of the other tournaments there. Uh, not the Western and Southern Open, I, I don't think. But um, it's slow. It's heavy. So everyone was saying, yikes, you're going to take a slow, heavy ball, put it on clay. What, uh, what a disaster this is going to be. And then they play the tournament. And what happens? Remember Hugo Gaston drop shotting on every shot and having success? Nobody able to hit through the court? Yeah, it was really, really slow last year. But guess what? Everyone was wearing jackets. It was freezing cold. Okay, fast forward. Regular dates, somewhat. It's June. It's springtime in Paris. It's warm. And now we get our first regular Roland Garros with the Wilson tennis balls. They are, again, they are not the same balls that are played at the U.S. Open. Wilson makes a specific and special ball for clay court use, which is the one that Roland Garros is using. So it is a different ball with different specifications. This is the first time we are getting normal weather and that ball. So they did not intentionally speed up the conditions from last year. Uh, it is not just, you know, about the, uh, the temperature. There's a couple of different variables here. And... What has the result been of the conditions? Yeah, it seems like there are more aces. It seems like the ball is bouncing a lot. It's bouncing high. It's lively. And it seems pretty quick. But at the same time, it's very weather dependent. This is clay. It was significantly slower today when it was a little cooler and damp and the, the clay was wet. So we've had some dry, hot days where, yes, Riley Opelka and John Isner have looked great. We'll see how Isner looks against Tsitsipas tonight. Uh... Roger Federer hit 16 aces. He hasn't hit that much at the that many at the French Open in a very long time. Novak Djokovic hit 10 aces. That's great for him on clay against Pablo Cuevas. So yes, uh, it, it it's playing quick. It's playing quicker. Uh, but the ball, it's also as much just about the bounce, and it's certainly bouncing higher than last year. I would say that that's a lot to do with temperature. When when the ball is hotter. Uh, that increases the air pressure. That means the ball is going to be, uh, hmm, when the ball is more inflated, so to speak, that is the effect. It is going to be bouncier, right? Because the air in the ball is going to expand. That is going to make the ball bouncier. And it's also going to probably explode off the strings a little bit more. So, yes, it's quicker, but there's no conspiracy. It makes sense. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.